In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade our officials and spot trading signals that we do send out to the Telegram group on a daily basis. Okay, so what I, I, I've, I've actually noticed recently is that a lot of persons don't understand where uh, when you say this is your entry price, this is where to set stop loss or take profit. People don't understand that. Okay. So I'm going to break that down in this video to walk you step by step on how to trade that. So I'm going to use the gate.is exchange to walk you step by step on how to do this. If you don't have an account with the gate.is exchange already, link will be in the video description. And you can be a part of those who will be sharing this $5 million um, giveaway, okay, for the ongoing World Cup trading competition. All right, so the more you trade the signals that we send out to you, the more um, you stand a chance to qualify to win some of these prizes. There are a lot of prizes you can come in here to win, okay? There are a lot of um, prizes that you can win, you can predict to win, okay? So if you start engaging with the gate.ios change, okay, as you can see here, you can stand a chance to actually um, um, play some of these games, okay? Win tokens, win iPhone, you know, all of these tokens you see here. Okay, whenever you invite people, you trade, depending on your traded, traded volume and the rest, you can, you know, get um, some points to come play this game. And when you play the game, you stand a chance to win any of these tokens that you see. So there are a lot of things you can do right now. And it's, uh, we still have, um, uh, I think, 14 days to go. Okay, as you can see on the countdown, yeah, we still have 14 days to go. So you can still participate in this and win a lot of good prizes for yourself. All right. So this is what the signals that we send on a daily basis to the Telegram group looks like. Okay. So you have, and I want to give a shout out to AY, okay, who has been doing this and it turns up to him because he has been consistent when it comes to um, sending the signals and the signals are actually um, very accurate. Okay. Um, you can get up to 90% win rate on all of the signals that we do send. Okay, so this is for Fisher's trading, and this is the AXX USDT um, pair. Okay, and the option here is to long. Okay, and then we give you the entry price, we give you the take profit levels, we give you where to set your stop loss. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to implement this using the gate.io app. All right, so here we are on the app. Now, once again, if you don't have an account with gate.io, make sure that you sign up with um, the link in the video description because there are a lot of bonuses for you know new members. Once you verify your account, you make your first deposit, you have a lot of bonuses for yourself. So when I come in here to the gate.io exchange, what I want to do is to make sure that I click on where it says features trading, okay? The features, click on it. So it comes up this way. All right, now what did the signal say? The signal here says is um, AXS, okay, USDT. So first thing you want to do is to come in here to the app, all right, come into the app here where it says BTC USDT. You want to change it to the current token that we just sent um, to you to trade, okay? So you go ahead and click on that and then we want to click, look for the token which is AXS USDT, which is this one. So go ahead and click on it, okay? So click on it. All right. Now, when you click on it, if I come back here to the signal, you see that it says um, the leverage we are recommending 3x leverage to 25x leverage. OK, this is what we are recommending. And for beginners, I always recommend that you stand anything between this 3x to 10x leverage we do. All right. So what you want to do is to first come in here and change the leverage. OK, so when you are changing the leverage, you're equally changing the margin mode so you can trade with cross mode or the isolated margin mode. So it all depends on what you want. Okay, so I come in here and then if you want to do that for the cross pair, for the cross margin mode, you can do that. If you want to do it for isolated, you can do that. All right, the difference between this cross and isolated is that if I have $1,000 in my trading account and I go ahead and open a position using the cross margin mode, I am risking every money that I have there. If for any reason I get liquidated, it means that I can lose the whole money. But if I use the isolated mode, and I open a position worth $100. I still have 900 out of that 1,000. It means that if I get liquidated, I'm only losing that 100, okay, which I'm risking in the trade. That is the difference. So you can, uh, I recommend you always go with isolated mode. So make sure you're on the isolated tab and then you select your leverage. Currently, mine is set to 20X. So you can select any of this leverage that you want, okay? And then after doing that, you go ahead and click on OK. So once I click on OK, all right. Now the signal is a long position signal. Okay, it says long, 
and you can see the target, the different prices here, okay? Um, the entry in there is 6.918, okay? And then the other uh, entry level is 6.875. So it all depends on what you want, but um, right now, as at the time we sent this signal, as at the time we sent this signal, it actually hit, you know, target five, as you can see, because the current price here is um, around $8 from the six that we predicted. It is now eight dollars so if you have waited for this trade up to now that is enough money for you okay so when you come in here you you want to change depending on when you are seeing this trade now since it is a long position okay since it is a long position and we are saying that the entry level should be um 6.918 or 6.875 6.875 is the early entry Okay, why 6.918 is the late entry of this particular pair. Okay, so if since it is a long trade, once it is more than the price has gone above 6.9, let's say you when you saw the signal, it is now seven dollars or seven dollars point something or there about don't don't take the trade any longer. Okay, but if you meet up with the entry with the early entry level, okay, anything between this 6.87 to 6.918 you can enter the market with market order, all right? Except when you come in, maybe if it is below, since it is a long position, if it is below 6.875, then you can use limit order. But anything from above 6.875, okay? In as much as it does not pass 6.918, always make sure that you use market order to enter the trade, all right? I believe you understand what I'm actually um, explaining here. So. If that be the case, all you just need to do is um, once you change your margin mode and the leverage, the next thing you want to do is to make sure that you click on the limit order and change it to market order. All right. So changing it to market order it means that the price range of that particular token is within the entry level we have given you. All right. Since it is within the entry level we are giving you, the next thing you want to do is to determine the amount of money you want to use to enter this trade. If you want to use 100% of your money, of the capital, your trading capital, go ahead. If you want to use 50%, if you want to use 20%, just go ahead and click on it, okay? If you don't, use the, if you don't want to use the percentage slider, you can actually type in the amount of the particular token you want to trade. For instance, if I go ahead and type in 500 here, so once I scroll down here, what I want you to pay attention to is once you type in the amount of the token you want to trade here, down here, um, you see the margin, okay, where it says margin, this is for the long position, and then this is for the short position, okay, where it says margin, what gate.io is letting you know is that it will cost you 210 to open a short position for this token, and it will equally cost you 210 to open a long position for this, this is the USDT, the margin that is going to cost you. Okay, so this all depends on the amount of money you have on your on your on your trading account. Let's say if you don't want to do that, then the best thing to do is to use the slider. So if I go ahead and click on the slider option and say, let's say I want to use forty eight percent of um, the funds I have. So get the I will let you know that the margin it will cost you to open that position is fifty eight for long position and then 58 for short position. So now since the trade says long, okay, we just go ahead, once you put in the amount, you just go ahead and click on the long position, all right? And that trade will be triggered immediately, okay? The trade will be triggered immediately. Now, once the trade is triggered, okay, once the trade is triggered, you will see your position open here. Right now, I don't have any ongoing trade, but to show you how this work, okay, to explain how to set your take profit, stop losses, and the rest, I'm going to do that right now, but I'm going to open a short position here. So I'm going to use the market order. So I'm going to use the market order and then I want to use just for the purpose of this demonstration, let me just use like 20% of the capital I have here. Okay. And then I'll open a short position. Okay. So once I go ahead and click on short position, you see the summary here, go ahead and click on. Okay. So in your own case, this is what you get. Then it will ask you to put in your funding password. Okay, so I'm going to type in my funding password that we can continue. So now when you have your order placed this way, okay, when you have your order placed this way, this is the current trade that is currently going, all right? So here it tells you um, the margin, okay? This is our margin. This is what it costs us to open this position and this is the number 
of the axx token that we opened okay so this is our entry level and then our liquidation price is this one so if it gets here we get liquidated when we get liquidated because we are on the isolated mode we are going to lose only this 23 dollars that is if we do not put any stop loss okay so now to implement the stop losses and then the take profit target that we do send to you what you want to do is to click as you can see where it says stop order here so you want to click on this pencil icon to edit your take profit and you know your your stop loss okay this is all on the gate.io app okay so if you click on that pencil icon it will pop up this way all right so we have the option to set our take profit target and then our stop loss all right so after looking at the take profit level that we've sent to you right now this this is what the take profit is okay we have take profit target one target two target three target four up to target five all right so to set this into your trade what you want to do is to use the fifth or the last take profit target okay in this case we are using the fifth take profit target all right so you want to use the take profit the last take profit target to set up your take profit so if i come back to the gate.io app all right i want to go ahead and click on this pencil icon here it says stop orders okay this is where we are going to set our take profit and stop losses okay so once we click on the take profit um the pencil icon this take profit and stop loss option comes up okay so the target for your take profit will be the fifth or the third target depending on the signals we send out okay so in this case let's assume that my the fifth target is to take profit when it gets to six dollar okay so if it gets to six dollar if this coin drops down to six dollar this is the profit i'm going to make all right now this is the fifth target then here is where you just put in your stop loss that we do send that on the signal so make sure that you put in the stop loss amount here once you put in the stop loss amount go ahead and click on confirm once you click on confirm okay to be able to see that order you just placed now the take profit and stop loss level you want to come in here to orders okay so once you come to orders you will see all of that listed here under the stop orders okay so if you're on the limit order make sure you click on the stop orders and that will reveal all of your pending trade down here all right so now why do we use the fifth level that is because if this market goes in our favor if it goes in our favor and we hit the first target what we want to do is to adjust the stop loss okay to the first target so that even if the market goes against us we are still in profit all right and then if he hits the second target what you want to do is to equally adjust the stop loss to that second target if you hit the fourth target you want to adjust the stop loss to the fourth target then when you hit the fifth target your trade will automatically close do you understand okay when you do this this way you are able to lock in profit and still follow the direction of the market so when we come in here to this signal okay this is our take profit one take profit two three four and five so we are using this to set up our take profit so when the market goes up to 6.9 you want to move your stop loss from 6.83 to 6.9 okay when it goes to 6.93 you want to move your stop loss from 6.926 to 6.93 the same thing you keep following this until it hits the fifth target now if for any reason the market doesn't hit the fifth target and it reverses let's say at 6.94 or 6.93 you will still be in profit okay even if it hits your, um, your stop loss you will still be in profit all right that is the whole idea of this so you use the last target of the take profit to set up your take profit and then you now start adjusting your stop loss to follow the market as the market continues to go in your favor that way you will lock in profit and make some money um, for yourself whenever um, the trade is going in your favor so this is just what i wanted to share with you i hope the video is helpful if you do have issue okay if you are stuck with anything if there is anything you don't understand you can always use the comment section or you can join the telegram and ask your questions there okay you can get answer from others or from myself and ay now if you gain value from the video give it a thumbs up okay just give it a thumbs up and don't forget to equally share this if you want to learn more join the telegram group and equally learn from or make some money for yourself from the free signals that we are sending out that is all i have for you in this video and i'll see you guys in the next video